Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you watched the video that came out on Friday, you saw that things went bad really quick. So we're going to try this again, and I'm going to take a little bit less time actually setting everything up because I remember what I set up in the last one. Now it's just a matter of the game loading in a timely fashion. All right, we are not doing the International Mars mission. We're doing Paradox Interactive. It's going to kick our difficulty bonus up to 220. We already have CO2 propulsion if we do the rocket scientist, so we would get a second rocket available. Next minute real quick, and we're playing as the Futurist. Breakthrough text research 30% faster, and autonomous sensors are available to us. We're doing the Paradox logo. Mystery, we did the Last War, and we did Chaos Theory and Twister. I'm, not, I'm in the air whether or not I want to do Twister, because I think actually just having uh, Chaos Theory would just be funny as well. Endless Supply drops it down, Hunger, No Disasters. D no Disasters actually does not put it down much, and Prefab Colony drops it a little bit. Um, almost like the idea of a Prefab Colony. Just to get things going, get things building, but I think we're just going to start off with Chaos Theory. So, Paradox Interactive. One rocket. It's a hard difficulty. We got a 310 difficulty bonus. 4, 000, 4 billion funding. 100 research per soul, 24 mil per metals price, we get 75 starting applicants. More breakthrough techs. Research and breakthrough tech grants applicants more fuel to launch. It starts off with 100 fuel until you research it. Plus, I got chaos theory in play, so we may not get that for a while. Breakthrough techs are research 30% faster and autonomous sensors. Uh, prefab buildings, we got two orbital probes. We are bringing just the moisture vaporator and the refinery. Hopefully I'll remember to actually use those this time. And let's select a random colony spot. Not bad, actually. We get some dust storms, we get some meteors. Not a bad one. Arabia Terra. Mm, that's pretty good. Dust storms, we get cold waves quite a bit too. Um, meteors and dust devils. Eh. I almost want to get more in the way of meteors, but I'm actually okay with this one. And hoping we get something a little bit higher up, actually. Because I want to get the bonuses. Hey, here we go. High on meteors. Relatively flat, high on meteors. Looks like the higher you go up, the better chance you have for pulling down meteors. But I want the extra boost, because I know... I love the wind turbines, I really do. Alright, let's try a random one. Not bad, get some dust devils, get some meteors. No storms and waves. Um, yeah, let's actually, let's go for this one. That's going to get one to try out. What do we get to work with today? Rover. And I'm already Welcome getting into an overload. All right. Tabuna Machine Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and the loading its precious cargo. Blah, 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 blah. But until then, we have to make sure the economy has enough resources, water, oxygen, and power. So we already have some flat research available to us if we end up putting down there. We could put up here and also up here the best spot for a lot of space to drop down a rocket probably be in this area, I think. Let's see. Concrete and metals. Concrete and metals. Boom. There we go. No water. Okay, still looking for water to put down. But the plus side is we'll have... Got some polymers, some metals. Honestly, it may be smarter to go down here. Just a little bit down this way. Because we can get some concrete. 
Probably put a probably put a little bit in the way of uh, maybe some turbines up there. I'm not sure yet. Uh, research. Let's start that as well. So we start off with uh, bioengineering. Waste rock liquefaction. That's awesome. Super easy. Drone hubs. Deep metal extraction right out of the gate. And Martian born resilience. So I'm definitely taking waste rock to start. And go back here. We'll start with those. We'll start in that order. I'm gonna put a rocket down kind of in this area. Because we can send stuff to go collect those uh, rocks, plus there are some metals around here we can get our hands on quick. 22, 30, and we get plenty of metals, so I'll drop down a, a universal pla- uh, Oop. Just gonna put that stuff down for now. Okay, so we're going to send him to do that. Let's increase the speed. Move my rover, move this guy right here. There we go. We'll start scanning this. We'll get the waste rock liquefaction done quick. So when we start mining this stuff over here, we'll be in good shape. Before we go any further, though, we also want to get some power going. Um... I think we'll just put it right here for now. Cable, so we can put down our... Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Boom. Milestone achieved. Right out of the gate. Let's see what this one gets us. Put some cabling down. Would be great, I'm thinking, just in the future, if we could put down some, just a big wind farm up here. There'd be a lot of power, I think, coming from that, just from that altitude. Alright, so, we already got that guy shut down for the night. We'll drop a moisture vaporator. Not worrying about that at the moment. And then also a fuel refinery. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Compact pasture model and so we have this is a lower thing. We now have Lo Trigon. That was the name of the next dome that's available to us. So now I can actually punch this up to the top. Put this guy up here. We'll get the compact pasture module. And now we have a little bit of an added bonus of we can get our medium domes out of the gate right away. There's no power going for these guys, so it's kind of a moot point for them to be going to do that. Hopefully, I can get uh, these power plants online soon enough. And they just need a metal to put this all together. So I can even start off with a medium dome if I play this just right. I'm not even sure where I'd be able to put it. I'd probably end up going for a Trigon Dome in this area. Plenty of concrete. Hi. Ooh. Lots of good... Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. That's a good setup of concrete right there. 1,800. Just curious how much... What I could do with this. I think about 600. Out of that. It's great. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. All right, now we're starting to produce a little bit of water because our rocket takes a hundred and it's named Knight Rider. I love it. Here we 
we're gonna get a little bit of water production going. We do have a no actual wow, we're actually meeting demand perfectly right now with what we have. Five and five, and this guy doesn't need any, so well actually. Had to find it. Put a battery pack down. Do I have any concrete? No, I don't have any concrete. That's a moot point. Alright, let's put some cabling. I don't know, stop. Start working on getting an extractor online. And we'll also build another wind turbine, or solar panel. Not doing wind turbines just yet. Plenty of metal. Now, let's actually also get an autonomous sensor going, because we need one of these guys. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. We'll put them over there. We'll scan things up a little faster. All right, this breakthroughs, sweet. We'll get the sensor tower going, hopefully uh, speed things up a little bit as well. All right, what's our boost? There we go. Let a meteor come down on this upper level, on this plateau. Wow, look at that distance. I can almost put the wind farm up here. Still haven't found water, mind you, so when this colony goes operational, it's going to be a little difficult, I think. I feel like the fact that devs have actually put all this together. What are we working on now? Yeah, Logi Engineering. Breakthrough discovered. Uh, what? Oh! <gasps> I definitely need that because if all I have is one moisture vaporator, if that I can double that up, absolutely I'm gonna do that. Let's put this guy so he's charging. We have a yeah, massive power short. Oh, and the nice thing is, since I have waste rock researched. I actually put a full-on concrete depot over here. Boop. All right. Sector scanned. Ooh, lots of con. Wow, look at that. Good areas of concrete. We got some. We have some rare metals, which makes me want to try to put a dome in this area. But I almost landed in the wrong spot again. Hmm. We almost have Loji done. And this is what a Trigon... I can't get it to pull up, but a Trigon Dome would actually uh, be an idea for it. Let's see. I could put it in this area. Overlaps a little bit. In theory, I could end up putting a dome there. Let's see what a medium dome can reach. Got a little bit of fuel being made up. Slowly getting that going for us. I know there is a mod in the game that actually lets you put in multiples. Uh, you can like scan the entire map. You can queue it all up at once. Alright, what I need to do is actually I need to get a battery pack built up now. Because now that I have a few polymers available, I've got a little bit of extra juice going into the grid. I need to start getting it stored up. Sector 
Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh. This could be part of the mystery. Let's send Dora over to check it out. Oh yeah, uh, all my uh, Explorer are seasoning Dora now. You all know why. Does that require? Oh yeah, he does require power. I'm gonna say like, why is he still going? This is most likely part of the mystery. And again, I am doing the last war. And with this series, unlike the other series in the past, I am actually putting the details of what I'm playing in the description for the videos, so you can follow along. Um, it's kind of wondering, like, oh, what am I doing? What's Steve working on? That should be able to answer your questions. I have no idea. What, I have no idea what this is going to be. This could be something that just kills me right out of the gate. It's not every day that we have the luxury to choose from what Mars has to offer. The planet constantly reminds of its old habit to give with one hand and take with the other. The rover came with across coffinite rocks rich in uranium clustered on top of a rich hematite deposit. The mineral veins were positioned in such a manner inside the rock that we couldn't blast through without compromising some of them. So do we want rich metals or rare metals? Got some rare metals, but I think I want the rich metals because the metals are going to help in the colony because I can produce machine parts with them. But rare metals help us with electronics, which is always a bane for me. Plus, I can export it. Sector scanned. Okay, I'm a little disappointed in that one. I'm really disappointed with that, how that one came out. I got some surface metal over there. Oh, they're actually able to go get it now. They're, they know that it's there. Sweet. Hmm. I hope that it's a, like a heavy drone load, but it's like, what do you want us to do? <laughs> Send all the drones to take this stuff up. I need to be looking in this area right now. Hmm. Slowly getting a little bit of juice going. Almost want to put another concrete deposit down, but I don't have water. That's the big kicker right now. As soon as I find water on the planet, I can start working with stuff. But the moisture vaporators, I have to wait. And so be it. This could be a colony that's just running automated for a while and not bringing people down for a bit. All right, got our first little autosave going right at the end of Soul 5. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Breakthrough. Dora, you're up. Hey, got some metals down here. This actually makes this spot m better to put down a mine. No, not to put, put down a mine, to put the dome down in this area because we now have a concrete, we have the concrete available and also we have the metals available. Uh, you only have eight polymers on Mars. I know there's two kicking around up here. Two. Well, let's see what we can find out. And the polymers factory will be needed. Oh, sorry about that. Going this on a very lazy Saturday, and it is hot as blazes outside right now. So I'm staying in the air conditioning to record this episode. Breakthrough discovered. <gasps> Oh my god, yes! 
This is the best. This is the best breakthrough I have come across to date. I want to outsource some of this. But I know I can't. Yeah, I'm going to. Why not? That's going to be so helpful for me. Now, not needing to worry about where I put these extractors, now I can just put a couple of extractors. You saw in the European expansion exactly what I did. I ringed these things, got all of the metals out I could, and then it's like, okay, they're done. Tear them down. Next. Decommission protocol. Shouldn't have done that for quite a few of them. Did read the comments. Did see that. Yeah, probably should not have. The way things go. I almost getting to that point where I can actually keep these things going through the night. Sector a third scanned. of the way. And who knows, there could be some awesome stuff down here that I need to explore. But I think this is going to be a good area to, po to put down the first dome. Of course, when I get going with it. I'm not really up to uh, bringing anything down yet. Because this is going to require machine parts to fix. I've got 13 of them. These are going to require metals to fix. That's fine. Machine parts, metals, all armors. I don't have a lot of them. I don't have any building. I don't have, think I have any. Uh, I think I left all my prefabs at home. Yep. A recharge station. That'd be kind of good. I'll tuck that in there. Actually, turn that guy off. Sector scanned. Still the one more. I love the wind turbines, but they're not really good right now. I can do a stuff with all the metals I have. Research complete. Yes, medium domes and trigon domes now available to build. Um, alternative dome configuration, cheaper, less habitable space. It takes 15 polymers, which I don't have. But here's what it looks like. It has, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it has 9 pots. Where I can drop it in right, boop, right there, if I wanted to. It would allow me to people to work in the extractors. Not a bad placement for it. Or I could just put it... I don't know, I can't, because I've got a... A bunch of concrete posted up there. But I also don't, again, I don't have any polymer, I don't have enough polymers to take care of it. So, medium domes go here. Uh, one, two, three, six, nine. Looks like it has 12 plus a spire configuration. And I also could just put one there. This takes 25 polymers. Again, I only have eight. So we may be stuck with the. Wow, maybe a micro dome. The vector pump being researched right now. And then the extractor AI. What came up next? Apartments, low G high rises. That comes in about the same spot. Usually we see it up in this uh, one of these first three. But again, we're playing with chaos theory. So who knows where this stuff's going to be coming along. Uh, deep water deposits. I kind of want to queue that one up as well. Mainly because we're going to need it. We're going to need deep water if I'm not able to find any water. This is Soul 7. We still have yet to find any viable water deposits on the Red Planet. And this guy was able to charge up quite a bit. So hopefully these plants will keep going through the night. We can keep producing fuel so we can send Knight Rider back to Earth. And by the way, I am totally not naming him Knight Rider number one. He's just Knight Rider. Sector scanned. Got some rare metals underneath. Right on the edge of the sector, too. So I could easily just... Oh, Meteor. <laughs> could easily end up putting a couple domes in, working my way through the mystery, and using the Extractor AI to load myself up with monies. 
What's he got left? And he's got 500 concrete left, so we're in really, really good shape right now. Just the issue of... Do we have a mock... Do we even have moxie tech? Yeah, we could start... Actually, we could start making oxygen on the planet right now, so when our colonists show up, they'd be in good shape. Let's just take a look what we could do about that. I know, actually don't need the power going to this guy, but uh, follow my lead here for just a moment. This way. What's these things cost? Three metal? Yeah. Cable I could drop a moxie reported. down. Wow, what are you dealing with those? Where? Huh, right where I just put it. Dang. Can I get him any closer? No, I don't think so. But I can drop a moxie down and I can start producing oxygen so when our colonists do show up, we've got some air for them. Vector pump still going along. In fact, I'm going to outsource again so I can get that a little faster. There's the autonomous sensors. It's way... Look how far down it is. This would cost me 15,000. I think this is the 12 or 15,000 spot. And all these are 20,000. This is like 12,005. This would have been 15. And then 20,000s down here. Chaos theory can really mess with you. I may not even have farms when this all comes around. All right. We got some oxygen. A big old power. Do these things take power? No, they don't. Got a little bit of a boost in these areas, but not a ton. Here we go. We got a surplus of oxygen. We're starting to fill these tanks. That's good. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Check it. And usually the eyeball means it's something connected to the mystery. I don't know what I'm going to be running into here. Look at that. Tons of concrete. What can I build that just takes tons of concrete? I think a landing pad, actually. I don't even know where I'd want to put it. Hydroponic farms. We'll most likely put one of these outside the dome once we get people on once we get people on Mars side. A trigon dome, man, I can build this except for the polymers. I have all the resources I need. You know what? Though initially fruitless, <gasps> we recalibrated the operating spectrum for our scans and voila. Yes. Milestone achieved. <laughs> Took nine days to find water. Ooh, 20,000. I have a feeling that this is going to be kind of like where we start off, and this is going to be where we're going to have a lot of the infrastructure for the colony. But I could put stuff over here, around this crater, and maybe do some good over in this area. Let's just see where the Trigon Dome, what I can do with it. I can put one, two, I can put like three of them in this area, real close proximity. I'm liking this so far. I said, I was looking at the time for this episode. I'm actually seeing, uh, we're getting a little close to the end on time. I'm going to go a little bit longer on this episode since this is the first episode in this new series. Yeah, door is charging back up. All right. This takes two... Huh. 
I think we're almost to the point where this thing can run through the night without any problems. One thing I'm hoping so desperately to get in this playthrough is the next level of, uh, of, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, storage. There is a thing of storage that was available in the last update that I couldn't get in this one. So I'm hoping to get it in this one because I think it can hold a thousand. Um, one thousand material. Can I build? Yeah. Right there. That's where I want to build another tower. Put it right there. Sector scanned. Anomaly Ooh. found. Hello. Check it. Probably go for another five minutes or so. Once this sensor tower's up, it's going to blitz through the scan process to get this done. There is a dust devil over here I'm keeping my eye on. This should just be more techs. A little bit of a... Unfortunately, dust storms, they just go right over this, but yeah, a little bit of a weather break. Did I research it? Yeah. Drones can extract concrete from waste rock stored in dumping sites. Oh, do I have to actually build a dumping site for this thing for it to actually work? Maybe. I think Meteor I have to. Your shower incoming. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Yay! All right, so we got the breakthrough. Uh, day ten. Vector pump is complete, so water production from the moisture evaporators are increased significantly. And we have a meteor storm inbound. Oh, this actually cost me five polymer, barely, which I don't have right now. Maybe plasma rocket's gonna come down soon. That'd help you greatly. Anomaly analyzed. All right, let's bring you back and let's see what we have. There's more to the barren <gasps> environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Deep scanning, drone printing, logi, hydrosynthesis, Martian patents. Where's Martian patents? Repeatable research for 500 million. This one and getting it early is kind of cheatsy doodling. Totally doing it. Totally doing that. But I want to get Extractor AI done so I can start getting some of these rare metals and regular metals out of the surface. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Double back. Dora didn't even get back over to the, to the main rocket site before we, this happened. Got some good water deposits in this area, too. About 21... Uh, not a lot of con or metals on the surface. We got some metals down low on these two. Wow, 102 here. Yeah, big chunks of metal just sitting on the surface waiting for us to harvest them. Also, that massive sensor boost we're getting 152 114 unfortunately 3% buildable it's like maybe right down 15 hours till the meteor storm anomaly analyzed there's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye a veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge okay yeah we get it mega domes are available now. Uh, polymer factories, fuel refineries, I can build Mars side. The Geoscape Dome at 1500. Water reclamation now available. Low G turbines. The Excavator. The freaking Excavator. This is three, two of the Mars Wonders are now available to me. I just have to be able to get enough research to afford them. If I can get um, the other Martian patents to, I don't know if I've, I'm trying to remember if there's another one that I can actually get. But if I can get both of them and just start racking up the money. I could buy another rocket. Let's actually see. What does it cost to get another rocket? Buy rocket. Need three billion to purchase a rocket. This guy's almost ready to go. If anything, I'd send him back and send him back with some drone hubs and some polymer so I can build a large, uh, one of the Trigon domes. 
But the question is, where would I build it? I kind of like the idea of having my infrastructure over here and using this big area that's available to me. Yeah, this 470 concrete here. There's some Sector metals. Scanned. There's some rare metals, some polymers. I kind of just want to put some big domes in this area and start building the colony over here. If I have any problems with concrete, I'll just get the excavator and probably put it right in this area because that'd be a good spot for it. Near the infrastructure, put the excavator down. We got some solar panel, or some solar power here. One little battery. And I think we've got enough now with this guy. It can actually keep going through the night. I think these two are just waiting for fuel. Yeah, I've got tons of concrete going, and this guy's barely even going on the surface here. He's got 400 left. I've got 220. Plus, the waste rock is helping me quite a bit. I want to see where this meteor storm is going to be. Because if it's right on top of me, it's going to be a little annoyed. Oh, it's, it's close by. This actually worries me. And that is really close. Alright, no power left. I'm just gonna keep an, I'm gonna keep out in this wide view and I'll probably wrap up this episode after this meteor storm ends. Just to make sure that the uh, colony doesn't die instantly like last time. A lot of meteors coming down. Hopefully some will drop some research for us. And some flat research would be great right about me. Meteor out. incoming. Crap. All right. Gonna hit my uh, tower. Well, thank God those things don't require maintenance. Ooh. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Cable fault reported. Right, Dora, you need to charge up and then head back out. I got a flat research that dropped there. I don't want to send Dora into this meteor storm. All right, Knight Rider is good to go. Knight Rider, you're clear for departure. Anomaly found. Milestone achieved. Meteor's got another day left to it. This guy doesn't have anything. That's fine. Uh, the big thing is I've got to keep these guys operational. There we go. I've got everybody in this in the radius here. Oh, I can't actually. Oh, he's loaded. I didn't realize you can actually overload them. Whoops. 20 hours till the meteor storm passes. Another one coming close. Alright. I get him there. I'm going for it. Dangerous, Meteor but I'm going. Incoming. Sector They're scan. going right for this thing, which I'm okay with that. Research complete. Woot. Now I'm just working on Martian patents. Give me a little bit of cash. Extractor A is going to be so helpful for us. Anomaly found. Sweet. Anomaly analyzed. 
Got my first Martian patents done. This is a little dang this is dangerous what I'm doing. <laughs> Exciting though. Look at all those meteors coming down. Three hours. Meteor incoming. Sector scanned. All right, Knight Rider's almost back to Earth. Knight Rider's home. Give me some more research out of this. Just a little bit more. Damn. Breakthrough discovered. <gasps> when a colonist dies, the fifty percent chance he or she is reconstructed as a youth with the same straight, same traits. That's pretty cool. <gasps> oh my God! I actually got it. Holy shit snacks. This is the best tech you can actually get. And especially as early as it is. Usually this one costs 10 times as much. 6 to 10 times as much. I'll finish this Martian patents up and then I'm going straight into Martian copyrights. Alright. Dora, you're finished. Head home. This is actually a monumentous moment for us here on Mars. Um, I'm going to order up one more uh, cargo rocket. I'm going to get some prefabs coming in. Um, we need a drone hub. We need somebody to control all this stuff. Um, those would probably be good to get, but we're not going to be putting down a, uh, a dome. Probably in even in the next episode, I'm thinking we're not going to put a, a dome down. I want to get this colony just working like a Swiss watch. Then we're going to start bringing people in. We got that. I need an RC transport, though. Um, we're going to need some polymers. Okay, almost out of cash. Back. We're not going to do it right now. I'm probably going to do it when we start up the next episode. We're going to... Uh, I definitely want to get that... Uh, this guy going. Yeah, yeah. So look at this, we have 200 oxygen ready to go. We don't have any water stored up because I don't have enough for the vaporator. They're just loading up on fuel for us, which is great because we're going to need fuel for when the next rocket comes back. I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode, though. Once we get once this Martian patents is done, we go into Martian copyrights, we're going to be in a much better position to just start loading up this colony with cash. We're going to be dropping down rockets. We're going to be researching all the things. And then when we start bringing people in, this is going to be a colony that people want to come to. Tourists, humans alike. They're going to want to come here. It's a start, this colony. And I'm confident where this one will go. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and the videos that come out on my channel daily. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Sector scanned.